This week's episode of Dig Nation is brought to you by the Michelob Brewing Company, GoDaddy, Netflix, and strap on Preglar. It's like Kevlar, but Prager. Welcome to Dig Nation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this is so in, in Southern California and I have fruit. You put zombie and you put ear in the title and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hello, welcome to Dignation episode number 196. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website, dig.com. That's D-I-G-G.com. Yes. We are here in Hermosa Beach, California. I don't know Absolutely. if you can see. I think Glenn did some fancy camera work so you could totally see the beach when we started the show because that's how rockin' Glenn is. He's amazing like that. I'm we super excited. This is like my backyard and how nice. Could you hand me the, the bottle yes. opener, by the way? Absolutely. And what better way to celebrate being out at the beach than drinking a little of the Michelob Dunkelweiss? Yes, we there, actually had a really great time. We had a little uh, tutorial, a actually. little tutorial, yeah, a little beer tasting. Um, which, if you go to uh, Michelob.com, you can actually see our uh, our beer tasting with Christy, the uh, Michelob Brewing Company brewmaster. I think she has the best job in the world, pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, to taste and drink beer for I'm, and get I'm, paid. Uh, I I just, I, I we get that. We, we we actually have that job. We get paid. To, we do <laughs> actually have that job. <laughs> have what that are you job. talking about? So, um, what you do with the Dunkelweiss is you you pour it all the way down to about the last half inch. Yeah, I told him I screwed it up. And then you put the up. bottle on the table. Glenn, can you get a little shot of this right here? And then you just do a little of this action. And that gets the last little bit off the yep. bottom. Yep. And there's protein and, and flavonoids, and I'm making up part of this stuff. No. But oh, you made up flavonoids? Really? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think you did. There's good stuff in there. Uh, also, when you get the uh, the the Michelob tasting set, you get these little like, they're basically like a flight information. So you can find out all this information about which of the different uh, beers you're trying and what the different hoppage and and maltage is it are. And they come in. <laughs> It's all technical terms. You're making up technical <laughs> terms, I'm making up. Hoppage is a technical term. Also, they come in the six pack, which is cool. The only one that doesn't come in here is the Hop Hound, which uh, if you go to uh, Michelob.com and watch our video. You gotta get the bigger one. The Hop Hound was your favorite. Hop Hound was my favorite. Um, oh! My favorite was the uh, Honey Wheat. The Honey that, Wheat, phenomenal. You can get them in the 12 pack, which includes uh, the bigger flight sheet, whatever. And, the, the and then there's a- We both agree the Dunkel Weiss is kind of our, we both, this is the one that we really Well, the Dunkel Weiss was the one that we had straight out of the tap. Like, we just tapped the keg ourselves with a little well, straw. This is when we were out in uh, St. We Louis. In, in Louis. Yeah. And it was, it was our favorite then. Um, Although you really like the honey wheat. Well, anyway, you can drink along with us because we're going to be trying all the different beers in the in the uh, the spring wheat beer summer uh, the spring wheat beer summer sampling pack. There's no summer. The spring wheat beer sampling pack. How can they find out where to actually purchase the mat? Does it say on the website? Mm. There's a okay. locator on the website. Locator. So you go to the website and you can put in your uh, zip code and it'll let you know where locally you'll be able to get these. Um, man, this is good beer. You got anyway. You just go out there, try it, check it out, and if you see Hippie's head, it's because he's looking into the camera for some reason. What were you doing? <laughs> I wasn't in there. You went like he this. Was, he wasn't in the camera. <laughs> oh, it's working. Which anyway, one, wait. Which one did Hippie like the best? Hippie, which one did you like? You the tried best? them all this morning. I like the last one, the uh, Hop Hound. The Hop Hound. Hop Hound. Gregor, how about you? I like the Shock Top. Shock Top. Shock Top is pretty awesome. That's the Belgian style Shock white. Top. Shock Top always reminds me of that song of the uh, the Shock Top Hill, Billy, the Ode to Billy Jean or Ode to Billy. Anyway, mm. one person out of the hundreds of thousands of people who watch the show was going. I think about that every time I hear the name Shock Top. Why does Hippie have an umbrella? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you got to show that. No, it's very fetching. No, 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 don't put it in front. Just hold it over your head. I'll skip down the side. Like a true gentleman. Anyway, all right, well, shall we get into the show? Yes, let's all do right, it. right, let's do it. First story. Oh, one thing I want to mention before we get going yes. uh, is that you should add yourself to my Twitter directory at wefollow.com. Yes, congratulations with the launch, by the way. Yes, just going crazy. It. And I have added myself. You have. We made it a lot easier now, so you don't have to do the weird at reply thing. Mm. When you go to wefollow.com in the upper right-hand corner, you can list add yourself myself. under three tags. Yeah, And it's Smart. a good way to find new followers. People find you through there. There's a lot of people going to the site and finding uh, new people to follow. Well, you should also, I was going to say, not only just getting more followers, for you, but you should also go and check it out because there's some really funny people out there 
There's really interesting uh, people to follow, and this is a great directory great for Great way to do it. it. Yeah, yeah, so check it out. So good work on that. If you're on Twitter, add yourself. All, All right, right, let's get into the first story, let's shall we? First story of the day that I should have pulled up, but for some reason do not. I cannot believe I did that. I closed the browser that had all my stories. So right, you... So let me, uh, we can solve this. We have the technology. Um, can we solve this, or is this an irreversible problem for the no, show? Hold on, hold on. There we go. All right. So I'm going to say before we start, before we start, this I is actually, Hermosa Beach is one of the places that I actually used to play beach volleyball. I don't know if many people know this about me. Uh, speaking of which. I know. Yeah, that's why I like playing beach volleyball. But I was actually a, uh, a competitive beach volleyball player. No way. Yes, yes. I was a competitive beach volleyball. I had a doubles team, me and my buddy Jason. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. And it was always fun because... Um, I have a, a, a sort of abnormally high uh, vertical leap, especially in sand. So I, I spike the ball very well when playing <laughs> Dude, volleyball. Dude, you're just making shit up. <laughs> no, no, no. And I, my partner, I'm 5'8", my partner is like 6'5". And so we would always start and they would always be serving me. It was the best way for us to win because they would serve me easily, instinctually, because they were going, well, don't serve it to the guy who's 6'5", he could spike it down our throat. Right. And then, Four sets in, and I'm just jamming it down the line and all that stuff. They're like, "Okay, let's let's switch these back and forth." These. Can you slam dunk? I can touch the rim, but I can't slam dunk. But you're also taller. You're like six what? No, I can't slam. I, I have absolutely no hop whatsoever. But yeah, I'm anyway. I'm like I like Spud Webb, except less hops. Yes, he had amazing. As it were. But speaking of hops, this beer <laughs> is quite good and not too hoppy. All right, first story of the day. This is one is awesome. How to lose your job in 140 characters or less. This was hysterical. 3,249 people dug this story, submitted by Obama, Clint, to Bush. Obama, Obama Clint, to Bush. Clint, to Bush. All okay, right. here we go. Great name. One, dude gets a job with Cisco. Yes. Two, dude posts less than enthused opinion about his Cisco job on Twitter. <laughs> Actually naming Cisco as his new employer. He oh, meant to no, do, dude. He meant to do it as a hidden tweet, no, right? Oh, there's no three, such thing as a hidden tweet. Three, Cisco employee on Twitter spots the post and promptly responds. What is so the response from the, from he the Cisco writes guys? Out, he writes out on Twitter publicly, he writes out, Cisco just offered me a job, as exclamation point. Great, that's Very cool. Very excited. So far, so good. So far, so good. What else does he say? Now I have to weigh the utility of a fatty paycheck okay. against the daily commute to San Jose and hating the work. So basically saying if oh. he took the job with he Cisco, would hate the work. he would hate the work. And he would just be getting a fatty paycheck. Right, so this guy writes back, um, a Cisco employee writes back, at the Connor, which is his name. Right. Who is the hiring manager? I'm sure they would love to know that you will hate the work. We here at Cisco are versed in the web. <laughs> I oh. love that. They're basically like, dumbass, we do a search <laughs> on the keyword Cisco. Or we track Cisco. And we subscribe Cisco. to it. Yeah, right. And we, we saw what you said. So apparently, I mean, oh, talk about, well, first of all, how did this guy even get a job at Cisco if he's doing something so stupid? Well, clearly, they. that's why he didn't continue to get, I mean, did, he, did they say no, you I don't mean, get the job? Obviously. He, he meant, I guess, the dude now has blocked his updates from the public. Well, but now, I mean, the cat's out of the bag, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, what? Uh, that hurts, though. It I mean, does, but come on. Yeah, you would dude, never say this. Who would ever say doing? this? What are you doing? That's like low rent. What are you doing? You knew. Anyway, it's pretty funny. Oh, here's some updates at the bottom. They put oh, in oh, red. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. What? Based on the comments I received over the weekend, it seems that the, at the Connor, who's the, the guy, yeah. may have been a woman, not a dude. The information was not available to me at the time I published the post. Thanks uh, for letting me know. That's why you scratched out the dude, the dude, the dude. Right. Oh. Update number two. I am not sure that this is actually written by the real at the Connor, but he pointed to the real Tim Leave. Uh, anyway, continue the conversation here. Weird. So, Weird. Yeah, that sucks. How Man. Have you ever done that where you're like, oh, I'm just going to Twitter this real quick, and then you went, wait a minute. Yeah, I've deleted several tweets in the past. How do you delete? But it goes instantly It doesn't to matter. People. It's still people will go out and like see it. There's still people that haven't seen it, right? Oh, There's always man. still people that haven't seen it. I don't think I've ever deleted a tweet because I just figured, nah, it's out there. There's a couple I sent out. I really? woke up the next morning, and I remember being like, what did I tweet? You're like, damn the truth. I know. Untweet. That's okay, though. It happens. That's funny. All right, next story. All right, next story. Monster HDMI difference scam still kicking in fries. 4,264 people dug the story submitted by D.B. D. Balden. 
Uh, man, this is just sad. Over a year after the internet was set ablaze, and I think we actually talked about it on this show with rage after seeing Monsters HDMI ca cables scam, we've just we just noticed that the tactic is still being used in at least one Fry's electronics store. For those of you that are unaware, the rig works as such. Two TVs are set up next to each other, same TVs. One says monster cable, see the difference, and the other says not using monster cables. Right. If you look around the back of the TV, the monster cable is using the HDMI input, and the non-monster oh, is using no the composite way. input, or the component input. So digital versus non-digital. Digital versus analog. Right. And so they're trying to say, well, this is a an HDMI cable that is a monster HDMI cable, and an HDMI cable that there is, is not no a difference. monster. There is no difference. I mean, theoretically, there's no difference, which is, by the way, Fry's is a good example. If you actually want to get the cheapest version of the HDMI cable, go to the computer section. Because the HDMI, a lot of monitors are now using HDMI. So you can get HDMI monitor cables, and they cost like 15 bucks. But if you go and walk around to the home theater and you get an HDMI like cable, much. Or, you know, home theater HDMI cable, they're like $75. Yeah. You know, there's cables are a scam, especially in general, especially digital cables, right? It, if it, it either it's either going to get there or it's not right, going to get exactly. there. Exactly. Either the zero or the one makes it there, right. or the zero or the one right. does not make it there's there. There's no better zero or one. Right. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. They I'm, shield them and they say, well, if, if there was if someone ever dropped a electromagnetic <laughs> bomb in your neighborhood. You know, now, now I'm not going to lie to you. That happened to me a couple out. weeks ago, <laughs> and my TV went out. And I was mad. And you're like, I, I should have monster like, cable. $20, and I wouldn't be in this situation. I'd be able, I'd be able to die of irradiation while You'd watching medium. you weather the storm. That's right. <laughs> I love Everything it. else goes out, all your electronics break, but your yeah. TV's still working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been watching any of the new shows? Uh, our shows? No, 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 TV shows. You're not a big TV guy. Uh, I don't watch TV. Uh, here's should, my dude. biggest issue. I want to watch Lost. Mm -hmm. I've, I've watched all the episodes or all the seasons up to this point. Right. But this season, for some reason, somebody please send me an email and tell me why this is. They, they like, I, I watched the first episode of yeah. the season. Yeah. And then I missed two, three, and four. Oh, and then when, you can't no, do that with hold Lost. Hold on. Okay, go. When you go to Lost website, you think, oh, I'll just catch up because you know right. how they save it all now. Yeah, ABC.com. Dude, for some reason, they only showing from five, episode five on. No, on ABC.com? Dude, find it. Find episode two of this season of Lost. It okay. No, no Prager, we, we want to be above the, the law. law. I mean, we want to be within the law, Here's not above the, the issue. law. I'll use BitTorrent, but like, I just don't want to go through all the trouble. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. BitTorrent, it's like, it takes like 10 years to get shit, and you got to open ports. And then, like, if you haven't, if you got a new router Bro, or something. I hear you. I hate the port thing. I've, d I've been complaining. Uh, I think I hit the wrong one. No, I got it. I've been complaining about freaking BitTorrent since BitTorrent was BitTorrent. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You guys know what I'm saying. What? All right, here we go. All right, show me episodes. Watch free episodes. So I'm curious. I wish we could do. Let's do a poll. Can we do a poll? We haven't yeah, done a poll in a long time. Of what? What is your favorite TV show? Current TV show? I'm stuck to the chair. Don't be stuck to the chair. Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay, good. good. What is your current favorite TV show? Lost? Well, first off, you can't say that because so many people would have shows that we've never heard of. Or at least well, let's aren't pick, Let's pick about our it. five favorites and let, let them choose oh, which one is the favorite of the Okay, five. first off, ABC.com, I have some issues with you. I'm running Windows 7 beta. Fix your player, please. Just because it doesn't say XP or Vista doesn't mean I'm running some sort of weird operating system from space, okay? I'm running Vista 2. Come on, really? It's like, whoops, no, you need to be using Vista or XP. Come on. It's weird. Maybe so I, I, can't even I, I can't even answer that question. Should I do it on my Mac? It won't work on the Mac because they don't like Macs. No, that's not true. It is. So tell me, you know the shows. Let's put them out there. For, for the poll, Dignation.com. Oh, the there's too many. There's too many. five. Lost. Right. Lost. Dollhouse is a big one right now. Uh, uh, um, the Mentalist, because I love that show. Pick stuff that people know. People know the Mentalist. It's okay. huge. The most popular new f series for the year. Okay. See how much you know about keep TV. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, Heroes. Now Heroes kind of got. It's gone. Battle Star just ended. Season finale just ended. See okay. people like that. And then I'm gonna throw in Lie to Me, because I like that series All a lot. Right. So I'm gonna throw that in Lie to Me. Those are the five. Those Hope are the five. Somebody, uh, maybe Mauricio heard that. I think Prager's gonna do it. Are you Prager better Prager? be typing it. He's like, I'm not even typing about you guys. Do you know how many times we've done stuff. polls? We're like, we're going to do this poll, and then this never goes up. And Breaker's like, <laughs> Breaker's like you, have a poll? you wanted a poll? I thought you were talking about vaulting. All right, All right next story.
Next door of the day with 3,304 digs, Gmail gets a panic button. Oh. Submitted by Motang. What up, Motang? Have you ever sent an email yes. and just as it was going on its merry way, you realize you've misspelled something or you'd send it to the wrong person? Yes. Now you can take yes. advantage of the delay to undo the message. So it gives you a buffer period? Yes. Ah. So I'm going to do this right now, live here on the show. I'm going to send an email saying something I would never want to say to someone. This better work, Gmail. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> If no, this I love work. that you're doing a very hard out. Okay, I'm gonna send an email to. Who you sending it to? Um, send it to Bill Gates. I'm gonna send it to. Uh, Do one more down. Bill <laughs> Laporte. <laughs> what are we gonna say to Leo? Oh, say whatever you want to say. Jim Ladderback, CEO of Revision Three. Oh God. Okay. Here we okay, go. Okay, CEO of Revision Three. Subject, I'm gonna say. Well, don't um, say what it is. It's the same as him getting the email. No, just let's watch let's the show. Let's just see. Let's just see. Okay, subject. Okay. What should we say to Jim? You, dude, this uh, is your I'll own dude. Alex. But no, don't put my name in there. <laughs> Alex just quit. No, no, no. Don't do that. Why um, would I quit? Prager, Prager, Prager won't put pants on. Nice. Pants on during the episode. Yeah. Please talk to him. Yes. Please talk to him. He is Cr gone crazy. He is, he, he is gone, gone crazy. Gone. No, he is gone crazy. <laughs> he is he is gone. That's internet speak, right? Crazy. He is gone crazy. <laughs> hide the sheep in, in brackets. Hide, hide the sheep in brackets. It's a good bracket. Okay. okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. This is here we go. This is going to Jim. Click I've it. enabled the unsend. It's going to the CEO of Revision Three. Send. Here we go. Undo. Quick. Undo. Undoing, undoing. Yes! Sun has been undone! Success! That's awesome. Oh, wow. Like oh, you have a new email from Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That is such a great thing because I totally do. Or like you accidentally uh, label it wrong or like the subject is wrong. Or you're like, right, oh, totally. no, dude, I didn't mean to send it to Bilbo Baggins. I wanted to go to Bilbo Baggins. Here's the key, though. Has to be enabled in the lab section. So this isn't a go. default fi feature. Oh. They've put out some great default features. Speaking I mean, some of which, great lab stuff like the offline browsing. Dude, I was going to tell you, I just went into the the, the labs extensions. Mm -hmm. um, they have added a bunch of new stuff. So let me let me tell you what some of this stuff is um, that I thought was really cool. Okay. Um, well, the offline browsing is great. I mean, that was that was needed for a while. Right. So offline browsing is essential for plans that don't have Wi-Fi, obviously. Um, tasks, which I thought was pretty cool. YouTube previews and mail, pretty nice. That's interesting. Picasso Multiple inboxes, mail. you can actually do inboxes. Multiple inboxes now, yeah. dude. Superstars, I thought was awesome. Uh, hold on, there were some other really- Wait, what's a superstar? Oh, hold on, this is good. Random signature, that's all right, whatever. Um, there was a really good one here. There's a really good one that I liked, hold on. Oh, canned responses. <laughs> What's that? Email for the truly lazy. Save and then send your common messages using a button next to the compose form. And oh. also automatically send emails using filters. So you can say like, I have a template a canned response. So like, say you get the same question over and over again yeah, from somebody. Yeah, yeah. You can be like, oh, I made this canned response. Boom, boom. And then it goes out. That's actually awesome, really Mom. cool. Um, oh, you know, yeah, that's that's cool. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna set that up. There's some stuff that'll be really good Dude, for that. Dude, this is awesome. The forgotten attachment detector. So what? if you if you write write in like I've attached the blah blah, blah or, and there's no attachment, there's no, it, it looks for the words attach. Oh, and if you said attach wow. and there's no attachment, it warns you. Oh, that's funny. It goes, bro. You, you, did, you just said see attached, and there's no attachment. How many times have you done that? I've oh, done dude, that a hundred times. times. I, and then you get that email back, that like snarky email that's like, hey, nice attachment, you want to send it again? Yeah. It's like, ugh, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, anyway, there's, there's close to a couple dozen now. Yeah. Um, Gmail is by far the best email client on earth. Heads and shoulders. It's even better than a lot of email applications. You use head and shoulders. What? I saw it in your bathtub. I do every once in a while. I have like a thousand different types I use. Is it good? I've never used it. It's okay. Because they're redoing their brand and I know yeah, it's pretty good. It's okay. Does it moisturize your scalp? It does. I feel moisturized right, just when kidding. I use it. Do you use head and shoulders? I don't use head shampoo. Oh, he doesn't oh, use shampoo. You don't use you know shampoo? What do you use? Day? You know he told me the other day? Rocks? <laughs> Can I talk about how you and your girlfriend pee in the toilet at the same time? <laughs> I do. Yeah, talk about it. Wait. That's not true. Wait, what? No, no, no. How is no, it not true? And why are you putting that in front of the water. camera? They save water so they don't flush. So one person goes pee and the other no, person goes pee. No, that doesn't happen. <laughs> you told me. No. What I told you was about the boogers. 
<laughs> oh god, no. I'm not just kidding. Boogers, what? No, no, no don't talk no. about boogers. I mean, what are you doing? I'm, we're making stuff up. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> what do you mean we're need, making stuff up? I don't need no, it wasn't you and your girlfriend, it was you. You said you like you peed in the toilet twice so that you could save water. Does it not oh, you? Yeah, I do that. Yeah, see, he does that. So he'll take a piss and he'll leave it there and he'll shut the lid and then come back like an hour later and then pee again in the same pool so he saves water. I think it's a good thing for the environment. Yeah. Well, All right. we don't have a dual flush toilet yet. What does that even mean? Oh, oh, down for poopies, up for peepees? Yeah, I don't want to flush like four gallons of water for like a little bit of like light urine. You should just be peeing in the sink. I think that's what most people do. Do you know what's good? And we please to, don't do we that went to at Japan, home, that's totally wrong. We went to Japan, they have the hot water ass cleaner. Have you seen that? It's true. This is true. No, Dude, it's amazing. It's, it's like a breathtaking. It's amazing. You sit on the pot, you push this button. We have a video of it on YouTube. I know. We have a video of it on Dignation a long time ago. And it shoots water up and cleans Japan. your ass out. We should go back to Dude, Japan. Dude, you think it's you think it's horrible. Don't no, knock it until you try it. Don't knock it until you try it. All right, let's move on because that's I don't know uh, how we got from Gmail to No, Asma. No, of course. We, you know what? It's just a national progression. That's right. All right. The best Star Wars action figure ever. 2,973 people dug this story, submitted by me, Salam. And it is strong. Dude, check this out. It is the action figure from the 80s or the 70s. Oh, the Force. The Force. I love that. It is the Force. That's awesome, man. There's no one there to It doesn't it. come with any extensions because it is just the Force. Yeah, 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 yeah. What wouldn't are you doing? You, wouldn't what do you, you mean? Wouldn't you buy that? that? I love that he's so drunk. He's like, wait, 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 wait. Would wait, you buy wait, that wait. action figure if you saw it on the stands? Yes. Would you pay like $7 for it? Of course. So would I. And I would never open it. Same here. I'd be like, I want to keep the force contained in my box. Dude, who would, they should sell that. That is the cheapest, most profitable action figure they would ever make. All right, we're going back to it. Dude, uh, dude, yeah, because all air. this is, it's packaging. It's packaging. But at the end of the day, it's the best packaging ever created for anything ever. You're right. If it can contain me? the force, dude, it's, it must be made of something bro, very special. if it special. can contain the force, I want to buy it. I don't even care if it's made of half plastic. I agree. You know what I mean? Like that is that is that is an action figure I wish I had. Dude, I would buy that. It's awesome. Bro, I'd buy like a thousand of those. I and then I combine them to make some sort of force Voltron. And you put them in cubes, in power cubes? Yeah, Energon cubes. Energon cubes, that's right. I'd fill Energon cubes with, with the, the force. force, and then I would make Voltron out of them. Dude, and that what? was all 80s. I, tell me about... Bring it, hit tell me. Tell me about... What? Uh, what do you need? Transformers. More than meets the eye is what they are. Energon cubes. Energon cubes, yes. What did they do and where did they come from? Well, they... they they were they were cubes basically built to store energon. Right. Energon was sort of like I mean unfortunately it was a little bit like Transformers electricity. Oh, Energon Wikipedia entry. Nice. Here it we says go. It's a power source next it is. to it. It is. Okay, here we go. In its raw form, Energon is unstable and extremely harmful to most Transformers. Right. And needs to be contained. Existing in a crystalline state, it constantly emits radiation, which can overload transformer systems, Right. as, what is, as was discovered by Optimus Prime and his crew during the Beast Wars, oh, when bad. they were forced to adapt animal forms that shielded them from the radiation. Yep. Energon is also highly explosive. I did not know that. Raw Energon can also exist in the stable state of Energon cubes, right. and which are not to be confused them. with the more common use of the name the containers for liquid energon below. It is unclear, however, if raw energon cubes can be naturally occurring. Oh. There's only documented case involving them that came from as a result of energon crystals exposed to an energy beam of an alien origin. Interesting. Dude, there is a... Wikipedia entry a, like about a, a energon. A ten paragraph Wikipedia entry about energon. Well, there should be. People need that knowledge. Let's say a transformer lands in your bathtub and you're like, whoa, how do I feed you? And it's like, I need energon. It's like, great, we've got some energon crystals. Not in crystal form. Dude. You need to know. They gotta Dude. get the cube version. You know. They really you need energon bullion cubes. You know how uh, the government and uh, like Obama's pushing to have uh, Transformers like this, made, yeah. Like this new kind of energy plan and like new yeah. experimental energy. You should experiment there on needs, energon. There needs to be like the energon initiative. <laughs> Dude, like bro. how awesome would that be if our government like named? It? I keep getting stuck on this. Stop seat. getting stuck on the chair. The, they keep naming like Energon was like our power source. Like you had to pay the Energon company. Or like the head of the Energy Commission's name was John, and everybody just called him Energon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when's Energon coming to dinner? I was like, stop calling me that. My name is John. I just happen to run the Energy Commission. That's awesome. That would be awesome. So get yourself a piece of the Force, unpackaged, ages four and up.
Why would that be ages four and up? Like somebody who's three opens it up and gets like attacked by the force. You never know. There's a choking hazard too at the bottom. Is there really? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> All right, no. well, shall we hit sponsors before we uh, move on to our last story? Let's let's do it. All right, GoDaddy.com make it make us it easy to customize your own virtual dedicated server. Choose one of three popular plans. Select your own Linux or Windows server with all the plan options you need. Plus, under the code Dig One when you check out, save an additional ten percent off uh, your entire order. So much to supply. See site for details. Get your piece of the internet. GoDaddy.com. You can find out all of the GoDaddy.com discount codes at revision3.com slash GoDaddy. Next sponsor of the day, if I hadn't closed my Gmail window. Netflix. Netflix.com. Netflix, uh, which is the largest online retailer of rented DVDs and Blu-ray discs. Yes. With over 155,000 titles. titles. With over 90,000 titles, Netflix is the largest Internet. Blu-ray. <laughs> Blu I can't do this. What do you know? Read copy. it. I was just saying. I can't know, see it. You know about it. Plans start, you can't see plans it. Plans started just fifteen ninety-five a month. Oh, well, that's game fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Netflix plans start at four ninety-nine, and as a new member, you can get a two-week risk-free trial. Just make sure to head on over to www.netflix.com slash Dignation and be sure to include the www. My favorite Netflix movie of the week yes. is The Dark Knight on Blu-ray because it is awesome. One. Two, I just got a new plasma TV for my house. Nice. And it is, it's a Kuro. It's phenomenal. It has really dark blacks. I like dark blacks. And it's, it looks amazing. Um, and that's all I have to say. All right. Gamefly is the largest online video gaming rental system uh, service and offers you a choice of over 6,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans just starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time, keep them as long as they want. Uh, no late fees, no due dates, no shipping is always free. Once you're done playing the game, send it back and Gamefly plans you, sends you the next available game on your list. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click keep it and Gamefly will on the Gamefly website, and the game is yours at a discount price, Gamefly will send you the box and the manuals free of charge. And as a Dig, Dig Nation fans get a two-week free trial, go to Gamefly.com slash Dig Nation. Summer Secret Supply, see for details. Sweet. Also, make sure to tune in to the latest episode of Techzilla. Yeah, you should. Patrick you should do that. and Veronica look into the latest hard drive, high-def setup media players and find out if Vizio's new soundbar delivers decent 5.1 audio for under $350. Oh, wow. That sounds cool. Damn it. I just bought a soundbar, and I bet you it sucks. Well, you know what? Now you uh, know. Uh, one last thing I'll say about Techzilla. Techzilla.com. New shows every Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Awesome show. Perfect. Patrick, Veronica. Yeah, I love those guys. They're a great team. Great team. They, they put on a really good show. Yeah. All right. All right, last story of the day. Last story of the day, and this one might hit home for some of you out there. Women talk three times as much as men, study says. What? What study is this? 1,372 people dug the story submitted by CS Scott 5288. It is something... It is something one half of the population has long suspected and the other half now vocally has denied women really do talk more than men. In fact, women talk almost three times as much as men. Wow. With the average woman... Talking. You see that it doesn't say talking, right? I'm not even looking. Okay. Talking. The average woman what? Chalking. Oh, chalking, chalking up to tw oh, 20,000 words in a day. And wow. 13, that's 13,000 more than the average man. Wow. This... I had always been suspicious of. Here's the thing that I will say about this. You know this. what I'm talking about. I think I bust the curve for men because I'm a talking mofo. Do you talk like more than your talk. girlfriend? Me, I'm grabba da gabba talk. Well, but then I get into World of Warcraft and I don't say anything for an hour and a half, two hours, maybe Do, seven. Who talks more, you or your girlfriend? Probably my girlfriend, but she also talks to other people more. Like, she'll call friends and, like, have hour-long conversations. And I'll call my buddy and be like, bro, you want to do beers? Yeah, all right, cool, see ya. Do you ever, right? do you ever sit down and just get into, like, a long conversation with your girlfriend and you're just like, why do we have to keep talking? <laughs> No. <laughs> That's good. No? Does That's that happen good. to you? Glenn, you know what I'm talking about, dude. No, I cut it short. You kind of what? I cut it short. Oh, you, 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 go, you know short? what? I'm a guy not going to talk anymore. Bat, 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 stop. <laughs> Less talky, more drinky? Who said that? Uh, Peter. Peter from uh, Family from, Guy. Uh, I mean, it's an interesting study. I mean, it's interesting that there's actually a study now, but I don't think anybody's surprised by that. You know what I mean? Like, it, it makes sense. 
the first comment was, this is actually news. I thought we all knew this by now. It's plus three, six, 263 right. days. Exactly, exactly. But I'm glad that science is being used in uh, ways that are necessary. I wonder what this means about our species. Yeah, I wonder, like, deep down, why is it? Like, how did the evolution lead us to being more, girls being more chatty? I don't know. I don't either. Maybe it's a... Dude, gossiping drives me nuts. I hate that shit. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's hard, though, because everybody does it. I no, mean, it's not true. No, no, no. A lot of people do it. Did I say that? Anyway. A lot of people do it. All right. All right, let's get to emails. Uh, first email, South by Southwest Pictures, and thank you from Celeste. Hey, Kevin and Alex, I just wanted to tell you, to send you all some pictures from South by Southwest show. Not of the show, but but pictures taken with me and you fellas. Me and you fellas. Uh, the chance of you reading this is probably one in a million. Well, won the oh. lottery. <laughs> uh, uh, because you said in the show that your inbox is about to explode. It actually is about to explode. Uh, Kevin, you remember the girl that said, I just want to say I think you're really hot? Well, that wasn't me. I was the one after that who awkwardly said hello, introduced myself, and had no clue how to follow that. <laughs> oh, I remember. She was really nice. <laughs> anyway, I was the girl who asked you both to sign a poster for me and one more for my brother that couldn't make it to the show. Yeah, I just I wanted to that. say thank you oh, because awesome. I think you have won the best. I think I have won the best Sister of the Year award for coming back with it. Uh, oh. You guys are great for coming out to Austin. Even more amazing for being down to earth people uh, and hanging out with the fans. Hope you all had fun. Look forward to catching another show sometime. Thanks again. Enjoy the pictures. So I took out, here's a picture of me. We had a blast in Austin. It's a picture with me and then a picture with you. It's a little dark. I just love the fact, I could not not read this go, email. Go back, go back to one, the one with you. Because she literally said. <clears throat> yeah, I remember her. Yeah, She's totally. Super cute. Because she literally said, you remember that girl who said, I think you're totally hot? Yeah, that wasn't me. I was the one who came up afterwards and was like, what? how do I follow that? Like, what? Just say, I, I also agree with that. Or, what up? Anyway, thanks so much, Celeste, and uh, thanks everybody for coming out in Austin. We had great, super fun oh, shows. Oh, it was such a good super crowd. Super fun shows. Such a good crowd. Yeah. Um, all right. You fan. Do you have an email, or did you not get an email? Oh, she looks nice. I do. Um, okay, good. Oh, this is awesome. Hey, Kevin yeah. Alex, my name is Danielle, and I'm 24 years old and live in Ohio. I started watching the show when you had Jimmy Fallon on as a guest. Oh, wow, good. I love the show, and I'm now watching my way through the past episodes. Nice. While watching the episodes, I have totally developed a crush on Kevin. Well, thank you, Danielle. Appreciate nice. That. With any parentheses uh, about I'm, I'm engaged, so she can't... Uh, Alex is engaged, so I cannot form a crush on him. Yeah, we get those. No, we get those. <laughs> And that's what keeps me alive and not suicidal. I'm not sure if you get a lot of emails from females and maybe male fans. Oh, emails from females. That cute, but awesome. I figured, what the hell? I'm sure you don't get tired of it. I think Kevin is really cute. Fu- <laughs> I swear, if Kevin uh, ever dates oh. fans on the, of the show. If he so, does. He does. Kevin, feel free to call me sometime. I hadn't pre-read this email. <laughs> I didn't oh, know. I'm sure you hadn't no, pre-read the email. Dude, Why you don't you me? call me? Let's hang out. Oh, oh this is so uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe. I don't even know. It's so awkward. I feel I'm, so flushed with emotion. Should, should we call her right now? No, we would blow her. Her mind would explode. Come on, let's do it. Let's I call do it. Her. Do you think we'll be able to hear out here? No, we probably won't. No, it, but he won't be able to hear it, though. Well, let's see here. One, seven, four, oh... Oh, not say the rest. <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. Hey, hey. Okay. Her name is... Uh, Let's see. Uh, You're not going to be able to hear it. Danielle. Oh, wait, I can hear it. Can you hear it again? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Glenn. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on, voicemail. Who doesn't have voicemail? Yeah, what is this, a paging service? I wonder if she's a doctor. Your message for Daniel Simpson. Record your message after the tone. Automated Daniel. 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 Page, press five. There we go. When you are finished recording, hang up. Or for delivery options, press pound. Get delivery options. Shut up, Glenn. Hey, Danielle. It's uh, Kevin from Dignation. Yeah, and Alex from Dignation. We're actually uh, taping an episode of Dignation and just read your email. Thought we'd try to catch you, but you're not home, unfortunately. This is uh, live on the show. Uh, expect to see it in episode number 196. 96. Uh, hope you are well. Thanks for the email. It was really nice of you to send that. And feel free to call Kevin back at this number. Uh, 
Um, anytime. No. Just call him anytime, day or night. He'll be here for you. Uh, nice chatting. No, seriously, uh, thanks, for, thanks for the email. Talk to you later. See ya. Bye. So no, that's going to blow I her mind. Not, I do not date fans, but I thought that was pretty funny. That is awesome. Um, so anyway. Well, that's it. Well, if you want your email uh, read on the show, possibly even a phone call from us uh, when we've been doing a show, give us a, an email, dignationfans at gmail.com. Yeah, we should. If you send it, your number, we'll call you randomly. Yeah, Obviously, we have no problem with that. <laughs> I mean, that's actually not the first time we've done that either. You shouldn't use my phone, though. Hey, to each their own. To each their own. It's like, Kevin, I've called you seven times. I'm like, you answer? Gotta change my number. Well, that is it for this week's edition of Dignation. Big thanks uh, to the Michelob Brewing Company for having us out for a nice, cool little tasting on the beach. Yes, absolutely. Very We've had a great time. Um, go pick up the Sambler Pack because uh, it, it's cool to drink along with us and also you get to try yeah. some great new beers. They're Dude. doing some really cool stuff. Heck, yeah. This week's a nutty week. What? Next week is the honey week. <laughs> oh, next week is the honey week. <laughs> I'm very excited that for next week's is, episode. That, yes, it's a crystal vice. That is you my, can learn out that, more. That was my favorite. How about that, that on uh, Nickelodeon.com? All right, well, that's it for this week's edition of Dignation. I am Twitter.com slash Alex Albrecht. I am Facebook.com slash Kevin Rose and Twitter.com slash Kevin Rose. Really? Both of them? Dude, I hope you we on will the see you on next Facebook. week. Kevin and Alex here from uh, Dig Nation in Hermosa Beach with Christy, the Michelob Brewing Company brew master, who's going to take us step by step through the new sampler pack. Spring, Spring really week. Really excited right. to have four wheat beers to showcase. They're all different styles, and we're going to taste them one by one and, and teach you about wheat beers and just really enjoy the Michelob Spring sampler. The pack. Michelob Excellent. experience. You're saying so, like yep, right, right about no, there, I'm right? Trying. Hold on. <laughs> B vitamins. Well, cheers, here, guys. cheers, cheers. Let's try this out. So, awesome. should we be smelling this first? Or? Yeah, first, well, first. You I know, right? Look at this beautiful. Yeah. Three beer. perfect pours. So, what are we talking about? Look at that. Tart on that, and, and that we, is amazing. We taste this in the wheat beer glass, which has the hourglass shape. So, the the top of the glass is a little bit wider, and that helps okay. showcase uh. this foam. <laughs> nice. yeah. We're doing a little hack on the side. So, so what's the mixture here? About 50 50? I'm so excited it's like to try this. Vena. I know. Cameraman needs a taste. <laughs> oh, I got a piece of ice. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was like a, so a seed or something. Hold on, no, ready? Got, One more time. You swallowed the ice.